We already know from Horvath's work and others that certain lifestyles will accelerate the clock and others will re re reduce it. And that's looking at thousands of people. Um, so unless you're a total skeptic and you're just a glass half empty kind of person, you've got to look at that data and say those, and, and by the way, Horvath's clock like Grim Age uh, predict your longevity that way uh, and um, even how long you, you know, you're going to live from that point. So you've got to look at that data and say, okay, the clock is valid. You know, it's got 5% error, but still you got to believe that it's measuring something related to your actual aging and your future health. So I think we're already there. I think that these clocks need a bit more development. Um, we need them in more people, but I have no doubt that we're going to be able to use these clocks to predict someone's future health and longevity. It's already done in various studies, which means that if you reverse the clock and in multiple clocks, I don't just mean a blood test because your blood might improve, but your brain might not. We need a way to actually test multiple tissues. It could be a cheek swab, spit, might be a muscle biopsy in some people just to test and also blood. But at least you need to see it happening in multiple parts of the body to be more convinced that this is true. Um, but with that, I, I think that um, at least if you're not skeptical in the next five years, we'll have a number of interventions that are well established and well accepted to slow down um, and if not reverse and, and also reverse aging, including alpha ketoglutarate, which looks promising, senolytic molecules look promising for true age reversal. That's different than saying, oh, the mainstream medical establishment and the FDA agree that will take many more years. And we know from the TAME study, the metformin uh, study that near Rars lies heading is that the, while the FDA is open to the idea of calling aging a disease, they need to see that you can reduce markers that are agreed upon that represent age, which includes frailty, uh, cognition, um, and some blood biomarkers as well. And that's, that's a lot of work. It's very expensive. So it's different. I think acceptance within the, our community is pretty much going to happen in the next few years. Doctors will probably take maybe seven to 10 years. And then the FDA could be even longer, but I hope I'm wrong about that. That's well, we're, we're, yeah, you know, I, I sound, I sounded a little bit conservative there. I think with the, the, the pace that we're learning to educate people with the books, with the podcasts, with uh, just people talking about this, it's, there's a lot of buzz. I hope that we can accelerate this, but so far it's, it's, it's happening at a grassroots level rather than the top down. While talking to my circle of, of advisors and friends, uh, there's been a paradigm shift in the way they think. But of course, my circle is not representative. I haven't taken a survey. That would be a good thing to tweet today to see what happens. If you're a doctor, what do you think? Um, I have faced the opposite. I faced criticism, in particular from one doctor through direct messaging, that uh, you sh nobody should be allowed to use a glucose monitor unless they have type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. to which I replied, and, and then tweeted, um, that'd be like saying uh, people shouldn't have a, a, a bathroom scales in their bathroom to monitor their body weight. You know, who's to tell us what we can measure and what we cannot. But hey, you know where I sit on this. But there, there certainly are these really strict opponents. Even with calling aging a disease, there's, I had to just, I'm gonna be publishing in The Lancet a letter saying, uh, please don't reverse the decision to call aging a disease at the World Health Organization because there are some vehemently opposed doctors that say aging should never be considered a disease. Um, and I don't even know what it hurts. I don't know why they're offended. You know, I think just people don't like change. And this is an example of that.